How you doing guys? Just gonna show off some knives tonight. First up will be a Kershaw tilt with a purple nuke on the back of it and then I re-anodized it bronze. So in all the distressed areas is a bronze. Hopefully you can see that. Really neat. And some oil coming out of the pivot there. All right. So on the tilt, the standoffs are titanium, and the lanyard tube is titanium. And the opposite aligner here is also titanium. So all blasted hardware. Acid stonewash blade. And that's the laminate blade. Purple nuke with bronze. So yeah, we can do stuff like that. Usually the main color has to be a little bit higher voltage than your secondary color. So if that makes sense. So I think this was right around 70 volts for the purple. And then I th think I went back and around 13, 14 volts is like a dark bronze. But if you can see this is like a golden bronze. I think that hits around 55 or so. So it has to be lower voltage because if you go over the 70, this will start to turn. So you can actually put this back in, re-zap it, and you can make it go green, really, at the higher voltage. So anyways, maybe a little bit too much information, but I know some people understand, you know, what's going on, how it works. So at any rate, if anybody was wondering what a sniper blade works looks like, completely nuked out. Tried a little bit, uh, something different on this one as well. Looks like a normal nuke. Then on the edges, if this camera will pick it up, is some green. So I'm trying to shoot for a finish that looks a lot like aged copper with the patina around the edges. Maybe you can see some of that green in here. And certainly you can see some near the front. And it's not overdone. You can certainly see some on the side of the clip here. I don't know if you can see it right in there. Which is kind of hard to do because this whole thing had to go green first. And then I had to remove all the green. Reblast it so this is clean slate. Re-anodize at the lower voltage again because green is way up at the very top of the spectrum for electro-anodizing. Which is why it's kind of hard to get. If your anodizer is hitting green then they've got all their stuff together and know exactly what they're doing. Because green's kind of the hardest. It's right up near, I don't know, right around 95 volts. Somewhere near 100. So anyways, sniper blade works. Completely nuked out. All blasted hardware. With a slight patina, like copper patina look around the edges. I'm actually going to play with another project. I've got a lot of stuff I want to do, uh, but anyways, I want to like get a full copper patina on a slab of titanium, which I'm just going to have to keep playing. I've got it close, but I want to perfect that before I show everybody. Also, I'm showing off this backspacer here. This was all steel, so I originally thought it was titanium, but it's not, so I don't know what type of steel it was, so I just acid stone washed it, which matches the blade perfectly. So I think it all came together there. This knife is solid. Also carbonized the lock. You can tell how tight that detent sucks the blade down. I think it fits this knife really well. And of course the edge. Sniper blade works. 
And in case you are maybe thinking about getting in contact with me and uh, want to see what a blue Sabenza would look like, I like this blue a lot. It reminds me of like stonewashed denim. It almost feels like when you clip this in your blue jeans pocket that it would completely like camouflage itself out. Uh, of course it doesn't, but I mean that's just a feeling I get. Blue nuke. And just so you can see the color tone, I'm going to put it up against a normal bronze nuke. Let me know what you think. So I think so far the only color I haven't done is like a total green. I tried to go for that on the sniper blade works that you've seen in the background, but it was almost toxic green and it didn't match that um, olive green. It just was off. So anyways, have a few more to show you. If so, if you're looking at nuking options, I know maybe some of you guys have seen this knife in the past in my past video or two but anyways this has been nuked out and then re-anodized bronze so it's it's a total bronze knife all the titanium is bronze but you can certainly see all the stone washing marks and distressed marks underneath even on the clip and and stuff All bronze. So this is kind of the nuked out look. Kept the blade just like it was. Completely factory. Polished up the hardware like a clean nuke. So, anyways, I know some of you guys have seen that before. And you can go like this too. This is stone washed before anodizing. So you kind of get like, I've been carrying it today, of course. So anyways, but you kind of get that hinderer type of working finish when you anodize a hinderer. Blasted, stone washed, and then completely anodized. So it was a little bit different than this. So this was bronze, nuked, completely like that. And then if I were to re-anodize this bronze, it would do like this. And if you anodize it all at once, it pretty much does that. So hopefully you can see a difference there. Maybe, maybe not. There is a difference in real life here. I need to upgrade my camera. All right, and then the last one, I'm going to pronounce this wrong. The Manandi, Manundi? Not nuked. No, no. But we did put a working finish on the blade and on the clip. So the owner here really... Um, Wanted to give this knife a second chance in his EDC rotation, but uh, he's he's had a few nuke treatments done on his knife, and he kind of enjoys the uh, distressed, kind of old-fashioned tool look. So what we did is just knocked off some of the shine, bead blasted the blade, stone washed it, which still keeps it nice and classy, but without all that shine. What a gorgeous knife. And then the clip, bead blast and stone wash. And I think that ties into the frame. The frame does have like a satin polish around the, the f actual like a picture frame area here. But the tops have been blasted from factory. I mean, that's how they come. They come like this. So I thought the clip would tie in with that and kind of knock off a little bit of that shine. You know, just, just kind of tone it down a little bit. So not a huge change. Hopefully my client will like it and put it into his EDC 